Let's move over to Namibia now, where Inga Zamwani, a Namibian businesswoman, is standing by. She's been the managing director of NAMDEB, the mining joint venture between the government of Namibia and De Beers Corporation since 1999. She joins us now from our studios in NBC in Vintuk to give us an idea of what it's like to be a woman in a traditionally male-dominated sector. Thank you so much for joining us today, Inge. Great to have you on CNBC Africa. Let's just start with a broad look at uh, women empowerment in business in Namibia because you had the World Economic Forum ranking Namibia as 35 out of 135 countries in 2011 uh, with its uh, Global Gender Gap Report. And we're looking at a, a situation where we see Namibia actually ranking quite highly. Uh, but from your perspective, do you see that women in business are given equal opportunities, are viewed equally uh, on, on the business front? Uh, well, thank you very much. Let me start off by congratulating our sisters in South Africa on their Women's Day. We hope that they will join us in December when we also have our own Namibian uh, Women's Day celebration. It is encouraging to see that indeed Namibia has taken the 32nd place in terms of the World Economic Forum ranking on uh, gender equality. It is progressive. However, I think in, as far as the private sector is concerned, uh, this, the ratio of women participation in leadership and de decision making is dismal and therefore disappointing. Government, of course, have put in place a number of measures to promote uh, gender equality, but a lot still need to be done and uh, we need to work hard to ensure that uh, women are equally represented. It's a constitutional right. Uh, there, there is, of course, a lot of d research that indicates that economic growth and gender equality is interlinked. Uh, a nation's competitiveness is based on the, its effective utilization of its, its human talent. Uh, therefore, the exclusion of women means that our nations are not effectively utilizing uh, their full capacity. Yeah, tell, tell, tell us about your experience in, in the working world. Um, you started off as a barrister, so graduating uh, from the profession of law and moving finally into mining. Uh, have you found that there's been a lot of glass ceilings that you had to break to get into a key position as a CEO of a mining company? Well, of course, I um, studied law and I specialize in mining law. Before I joined NAMDEP, I worked for government. I was uh, finally the director that was responsible for regulating the industry. And in that position, I had a lot of contact with the industry. And when I joined NAMDEP, it was an industry, of course, uh, predominantly a male industry. In NAMDEP itself, as a joint venture, it was uh, just starting off, and we had the challenge to try and transform uh, CDM into NAMDEP. And we have to put in place uh, the framework that ensure the localization of NAMDEP's operations. I started in the position, I was the only woman within the national, uh, within the executive committee and on the board of NAMDEP. It was in the beginning hard. Of course, there are barriers to entry. Some of them are explicit, others are inexplicit. But you must begin to understand how you work your way around that. And soon I understood how I have to work my way around that. And uh, of course, as this uh, managing director responsible, amongst other things, for setting policy and ensuring that those policies are implemented, uh, we have to start moving towards encouraging more women uh, to enter into the mining industry. So we use our bursary scheme to try and encourage young Namibian women uh, to see opportunities in the mining industry. Yeah. Uh, we sponsored the participation of uh, women in, in various fields in mining and today those women are in NAMDEP in the middle management position and moving upwards. Of course, you've got a boss, Cynthia Carroll, the, the head of Aglo American, who is, uh, who is one of the, the famous women uh, miners in, uh, in the mining world. And of course, someone you can look up to. Uh, do you think overall, though, that um, it's a tough industry 
to be in and that women would prefer to be in more glamorous industries, even though diamonds are girls' best friends. So, of course, you're, you're dealing with uh, an accessory that women love to wear. But do you think that it's a lot more glamorous to go into other industries as opposed to mining? I don't know. Speaking for myself, I think it's very glamorous to be in the mining industry. And um, uh, of course, you pointed out Cynthia Carroll as a CEO of Anglo-American. Uh, and it speaks for itself. Uh, when a woman is the head of an institution, the performance of that, that institution actually tend to be much more higher and more stable. And uh, of course, being in the diamond industry, we are working very closely with a number of stakeholders. And for, for me, there are other career opportunities within the mining industry, not necessarily being the CEO, but we have uh, women who are plant managers, we have women who are mining managers in, in some of our sectors. So there are a number of uh, interesting opportunities for women to look into the mining industry. We have women geologists who are now evaluation managers. So I think looking at the very good example of uh, Cynthia Carroll as a CEO yeah. of Anglo-American. It is motivational and inspiring, should be for many young women who wants to come into this industry. Fantastic, fantastic mentor, I'm sure, for anyone to have. Inge, thank you so much for sharing that with us today. Inge Zamwana is the CEO of Namdeg, talking to us from Vuntuk today.